I always thought it was an interesting outfit. I'm not sure if I like it. Uh, I'm guessing it's a practical one. Doesn't resemble any real life clothes I've ever seen. Well, uh, all the pieces separately do, but it's uh, it's such a weird outfit. I guess it kind of looks cool. Off we go. The monastery. No women allowed. I always wondered if Hans had um, installed these things in the monastery. Because in previous game, everywhere Hans had been, we saw automaton things. But that made sense because he'd been there. Excuse me, I'm sorry to disturb you, uh, sir? Blessed art thou, my sister. What can I do for you? Uh, um, my name is Kate Walker, and my train is currently at the station in Romansburg. Oh, oh, Romansburg. Pretty town, but not the kind of town for pretty strangers. Pretty solitary strangers. <laughs> I don't intend to hang around long, brother. Okay. Is he related to um, the uh, criminal who didn't want to sell us petrol because he sounds very much alike and he seems equally creepy? I'm traveling with an old man, Hans Vorlberg, and... <laughs> Vorlberg? Did you say Vorlberg, my sister? You know him? No, <laughs> but I know someone else. Can you hear? It is the sweet song of the Merula Alba. If only I could catch a glimpse. Such a rare, pretty bird. Few are they who say in truth they have spied her beauty. <laughs> it is probably seeking some other Merula Alba. Mm. Uh, probably. What is a Merula Alba? A rare bird. <laughs> it can never be seen as it is as white as snow. They say that when a man sees it, his mind clears, and his intelligence grows and grows. All right, let's hope so in your case. There seem to be a lot of birds around here. Yes, yes, but the only one that interests me is the Merula Alba. My friend is very ill, you know. It is God's will. God's will. <laughs> what can I do, my sister? What can I do? Maybe you could visit him at his bedside. Oh, oh, oh. Never, my sister, never. I would incur the wrath of our Lord and Patriarch. <laughs> I'm looking for someone with a medical background. Someone who can tend to the sick. Our Patriarch is a remarkable doctor, my sister. He cures bodies as well as souls. <laughs> you couldn't help me, could you please? I am but a simple monk. You have to go see our Patriarch yonder, in the monastery. 
Yeah, I'm trying to. Yes! At the monastery, oh yes! <laughs> I rang at the monastery, but there was no reply. Maybe they don't want to let me in. Can you tell me, is there another way in? There is no other way, my sister. <laughs> Why won't they let me into the monastery? Dura Lex said Lex. <laughs> I'm sorry? The law is hard, but it is the law, my sister. <laughs> what law? I don't like questions, my sister. The law is the law is the law. You live in the monastery, I suppose. That is right, my sister. <laughs> Are there many of you up there? A few old monks. <laughs> Few are those who heed the calling in this age. Tell me, what have we got to do to get into the monastery? You must pull the rope that rings the bell, my sister, but not too hard, or you will scare the birds. Don't scare them. A monk will show you in. Thank you. But I must doesn't. absolutely find a doctor for my friend. I just do the laundry, my sister, that is all. Down here, there are some doctors, and others do the laundry. You are going to make me late. Do you hear? It is the Merula Alba again. Yeah, yeah. We're not really getting anywhere, are we? I'll be back soon. What? Weird laundry guy. This is a bit useless. Okay. He's obsessed with the uh, bird doll. So let's go all the way back. Also, that sound the white raven makes is, is such a common bird sound in any video game I've ever heard. I swear, if there's a forest and you're meant to hear birds, there will be that particular sound. I don't know if it is if it resembles a real life bird or if it's just something that someone made up at one point and it uh, stuck. Anyway, let's see if we can move on. Colonel? Ah, Miss Walker. I need your help Colonel, again. you don't have one of those whistles for making bird noises among your many treasures here, do you? A bird call? Why, I sell them by the truckload during the hunting season. I've got a whole collection of them. I think I've got just what you need somewhere. Aha! Gold, silver, and black. Thanks for all your help, Colonel. The pleasure is all mine, Miss Walker. If I remember correctly, uh, we'll need the silver one. Malcolm is saying, like, what's, the, what's going on? Why does she keep going back and forth? This woman truly is weird. 
Okay. going to do is of course if you haven't figured it out yet you're going to sound the bird call and that will distract the guy who's doing the laundry so he can steal one of his dirty things however we're going to give him the bird call actually but uh, it'll distract brother? him yes my sister uh, that's I'm what I meant to right, my sister. I meant to give him the bird call. Let's give him the silver one because I'm fairly sure that that's the correct one. Can you hear? Can you hear? The Merula Alba. It is calling to me. Calling to me. Yes. Bye-bye. This is, this is, nobody will notice. If only it was a bit less form-fitting. Got someone's dirty clothes. I'm going to just assume that these were washed already. Hi there, I'm a creepy monk. No, weird woman. like all churches in this universe come with mechanical elevators right let's start looking around Ooh, matches I need something can make candles candle making machine That'll come in handy later. Might as well just grab whatever we can whilst walking. There's something here later. We can't run whilst we're dressed like a monk. I need to find the, uh, the main dude. cool building I like it uh, let's go in here because I think maybe it's here we've got quite a bit of stuff to do here later Anybody there? <laughs> uh, excuse me. A what? A woman? Women are expressly prohibited. What the devil are you doing here, woman? My name's Kate Walker. I'm a lawyer from New York. <laughs> she still calls herself a lawyer. Even though she obviously isn't anymore um. excuse me 
But I absolutely must speak to you, and your monks wouldn't let me in. Miss Walker, your female presence in this dwelling of monastic retreat is unwelcome. It is very... troubling. Please leave quickly. I will, as soon as you look at the shroud. I have come to ask the assistance of the priest healer in the monastery. My friend is very unwell, and very old. Sometimes a body weary of life refuses treatment. That is why we here tend to the soul. From what element is your friend suffering? A high fever. It started with a kind of fit. He fell... Sometimes we have to just accept the inevitable, my child, and resign ourselves to the call of time. True. I have a friend who is really sick. In the village, I was told that... We must all brave the ordeals the Lord sends us, my child. You don't understand. Maybe Hans is old and frail. But he has but one desire, to continue his journey. We have to learn how to meet our fate, my child. This is God's will. My friend needs treatment. You are the only one for miles around who can give him the care he needs. I need a sign from the Almighty, or else I can do nothing for your friend. I am sorry, Miss Walker. I really need your help, Father. You're our only hope. My girl, I attend only to extreme cases, grave illness and madness. Okay. But this is an extreme case, Father. There is a rule, Miss Walker. You must respect it. Bring me the imprint of your friend's suffering. I have. I know what you were telling me. I brought the shroud. Show me, my child. Right. We will go search for your friend. Finally. It's our man. He's got something. Canton? I can barely hear you. Mr. Martin. What news have you got? I, I talked to the hotel guys, Mr. Martin. She checked out of Arrowbad last week. Headed off with Hans Vorlberg. How is she? Seems her health is fine, Mr. Martin, but... Uh, what? Her behavior... Seems... Don't beat about the bush, Canton, please. Look, Mr. Martin, it's like this. I'm afraid that Miss Walker has been acting... Well, how do you say it? Differently. Did you sleep well, my child? Yes, yes, thank you. How is Hans? Alas, you brought him to us so late, my child. I fear we cannot do much. We are going to concentrate on tending to his soul. What? What did you say? The man is worn and old. His final hour is upon him. But that's impossible. Your friend is dying. You must believe me, my child. It can't be. Please take care of Hans, father, please. Torment yourself no longer, my girl. I will tend to the poor soul. Can I see him? No. I do not advise it. Deranged minds are often too addled by evil. And you could become contaminated by its sly malevolence. Look, contagion doesn't bother me. I've got to talk with him, you understand? The rules, Miss Walker. Remember the rules. No one talks to the sick. I just can't abandon Hans like that. 
I must see him immediately, you hear? Okay. So be it. Your friend is in the last chamber at the end of the corridor. I beseech thee, my girl, pay no heed to the imprecations of a sick, delirious, dying man. I will wait for you in the chapel when everything is over. For the formalities, you understand. Hmm. I think that's why I like this game a bit less than the first one. In the first one, everyone you met was at least... It, well, they were all quirky and a bit weird, but they weren't uh, depressed or angry or mad. But in this game, everybody that you meet so far seems any one of those. Hans? Hans, can you hear me? Kate, where are we? Don't you worry. You're in very good hands. <laughs> very good hands. We cannot carry on our journey in these conditions, Hans. You are ill. You have to be cared for. I... I must go, Kate Walker. I said I'd keep you company until we reach Siberia. I brought you here to be treated. We don't have the time, Kate. We've got... We've got to go to Siberia, Kate Walker. <laughs> Calm down, Hans, please. No! No! <laughs> Hans, we're at the monastery. Do you remember? In Valadilan, it is 7.15 p.m. Father is always punctual. He never stays at home. He always goes to the factory. He locks himself in his office and... No, Hans. Valadilen is where you were born. Here, we're in Romansburg. Valadilen is miles away. We're going to take care of you. Alexei. Find Alexei Tukianov. Alexei Tukianov? Alexei. He has lived with the Yukals. He can cure me. Is that the same creepy guy again? Who is Alexei? An old monk. A friend. He knows about you call medicine. Mm -hmm. Why do you want me to find this monk, Alexei? Because he can heal him. Alexei... He can treat me. Hans, do try to be reasonable. Nobody here can treat you better than the old patriarch. Alexei knows you call medicine. The old patriarch is an ass. <laughs> I wonder why Kate holds on to the old patriarch so much. It's obvious he's like meh about it. So you really think this monk can cure you? Alexei can cure like the shaman. Shaman are the right doctors for me. <coughs> it seems you rate the Yukuls for their medicine. Yukul shaman medicine is very strong. Hans, all that shaman malarkey is nonsense. You know that. The Yukos know a lot of things, Kate Walker. A lot of things. I'll be back soon. Okay, Kate. This is one of those things, opinions, where in real life I agree with Kate Walker. But in video games and films, I am totally with Hans on this one. If there are shaman or witch doctors or anything like that, Go to them. Yes, pretend you weren't listening. I saw you. You know I couldn't. Hey, you like to eavesdrop. Eavesdrop? No. I clean and clean. That's all. I've just spoken to Hans. <laughs> and what news do you bring, my sister? Um, he spoke to me of one of your brothers, named Alexei. Ah, Tempus Edax Rerum. <laughs> Brother Alexei is not of this world, my sister. So you don't know this Alexei, do you? No, no. <laughs> Omnis Homo Mendax. <laughs> 
Come on, you must know where Alexi is. <laughs> Mor's Ultima Ratio. <laughs> you had to blatten in uh, in secondary school. Everything he said basically points towards the fact that he's dead. <laughs> 